data source. I forget to write something uh, about a uh, common chaotic dark tree. Right, please. Common chaotic dark tree in the region of the bifurcation of India has two reflexogenous zones. One is located in anterior wall of bifurcation, and we call it the barrel reception zone. Barrel reception. Open the brackets and write, please, it contains the receptors which is measured pressure. pressure inside of the common heroin artery. It is formed by three nerves. Right, please. It forms by three nerves. It is vagus, glossopharyngeus, and sympathicus, from truncus sympathicus. And inside of glossopharyngeal nerve, impulsation from these receptors goes to the brain, to the Fossa rhomboidea, rhomboid fossa, the center of the barrel reception. Right, please, second reception zone located in posterior wall of bifurcation. We call it globulus caroticus, globulus caroticus. In English, it will be carotid body. And it is responsible for chemo reception. Open the brackets and write, please. Concentration of carboxygen inside of the blood. That is two important reflexogenous zones. Remember, please now write this. Internal jugular vein. Uh, who to ask? You know, I don't know. Mohammed, maybe you? <coughs> Can you stand up, Mohammed? Mohammed, you know, you don't Why are you confused, Mohammed? You don't confuse. What do you remember about internal tubular vein? Where it is originated, Mohammed? Where is it? Huh? Superior. Oh, superior. Then a color can give the origin of that. All sinuses drain into the internal jugular vein. All sinuses of dura mater. And they form together internal jugular vein, which is leave the cranial cavity by foramen jugularis. If you remember two minutes before, I told you that inside of the face, common facial vein is formed by junction of vena facialis and anterior branch of retromandibularis, lingualis, superior thyroid, which is drained into internal jugular. Yeah. They drain into internal jugular, but internal jugular originated inside of your cranial cavity. Remember, guys, it's not so hard. Continue, please. Inside of the neck region, it is surrounded by deep lymphatic nodes of the neck which we call truncus lymphaticus jugularis, the jugular lymphatic tract. Truncus lymphaticus jugularis, the jugular lymphatic tract. Continue, please. Inside of carotid triangle, into internal jugular vein, open the one big vein, which is called common facial. Common facial vein drained into the internal jugular vein, which is formed by five vein junction. Two biggest from these five you know very well. It is the facialis and the anterior branch of the red mandibularis. There are three little bit smaller. It is superior thyroid, superior laryngeal, and lingual. Superior thyroid, superior laryngeal, and lingual. All of them together join each other, forms the common facial vein, which is drained into internal jugular blood. Bless you. Continue, please. Structure number three, nervous vacuus. The 10 
craniomere, number 10, that is what is. It is lit the cranial cavity by the same jugular foramen. I want to remind you guys that the jugular foramen, meaning the tension, split it into two portions, anterior and posterior, by two spines, which is located in the occipital bone. In anterior portion, we have three cranial nerves. As you remember, 9, 10, and 11. Velocipharyngeus, valgus, accessorius. In the posterior, we have vena jugularis interna. That's a jugular aperture. Content not only internal jugular vein, but it contains also three cranial nerves. 9, 10, 11. Is that understandable for you? Then, right, please. Perus vagus has in the neck region, gives the neck branches. Open the brackets and write, please, to all organs of the neck region. There are six organs, as you remember, larynx, pharynx, trachea, esophagus, thyroid, and parathyroid gland. And continues into the thorax by superior thoracic aperture. That's all, guys. Two days for you. Uh, these organs, <coughs> together with vessels and nerves for each organ and branches of nervous virus, we will study omotracheal triangle. Why? Because all organs begin by midline of the neck. Your omotracheal triangle. Why I don't want to start it now? Because my time is not enough. Ten minutes will not be enough absolutely to uh, finish this big triangle. It is the biggest triangle. What I will do during this ten minutes? Let's speak a little bit about your midterm exam, which will be just after the several days. First of all, about the date of your midterm exam. How many attention? Uh, by the calendar, one minute, let's check. Now look. Write everybody, please. It is the from from April three up to April twelve. Comparable with different groups different, as I say, in the practical classes. From 12th up to the 12th, we will have your midterm exam. As I say you, it will include all head of neck regions, together with lecture number one, introduction of operative surgery to anatomy, and general principles of connection and disconnection of the tissue, except surgical instrument, anything else. Now, right, please, it will be in oral form for each student, three questions. Strongly, two questions will be top anatomy, one question, operative surgery. Surgical question can be or from head region or from neck region, doesn't matter. For each student, we have one big problem, which we will decide, I don't know how. Uh, groups is big, lesson time is short. Let's say which options I have. Option number one, to do my best to start and finish during the time of the lesson. In that case, for each student will be given to the guys <coughs> not more than three, four minutes. That is first option because otherwise my lesson time will not be enough to finish all these control work, midterm exam. Option number two, we can continue our control, midterm exam, after the classes. What does it mean? Part of the students will pass it during the class. 
other part of the students, after four o'clock, I don't have, after half past three, I don't have any other classes in the university, usually. That's like the students who will not pass before that time can pass it after that. In the same day, just only three hours because Again, you will come, you will take the ticket, you will pass it. For me, both options is prepared. Of course, if I will delay it after the class for each student, I can give a little bit more time. For example, up to 10 minutes. Second method is much more boring for me because I will lose my time. For me, that over jump. It is only bad for you. For me, it's great. I will go to my home exactly after my class. Yes. Exactly. So if, if, you, if you think that I need to be here and work more, you mean great. That's why I agree with you. What? We will do first method. No any method. No any problem. I, instead of my free time, I suggest the second method. The second for me, doesn't the same. Now let's don't be in conclusion. Go discuss together. And in the next week during our class, please inform me. Yeah, and compare it over how this you will be saying it, we will do in one or